Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Fernbus Simulator. Now it's been a little while since we played Fernbus, uh, but TML have recently uh, released a new map, the Czech Republic. Now I'd like to thank uh, TML for sending me a key last week to showcase this for you guys. Now unfortunately last week, as you all know, I was very, very ill. I had no voice. As you can hear now, my voice is a little bit croaky still, but I wanted to get back and try and get some uh, recordings done and catch up from uh, all the stuff that I've missed. So we are going to be checking out the uh, Czech Republic uh, DLC for Fernbus today. We're here in the Neoplan Skyliner and uh, we're with Katiki Tours. Uh, been with Katiki once uh, into uh, Holland. It was quite fun actually. It was alright. It wasn't the worst. Um, but yeah, so look, we're going to check this out. So to have a look at the Czech Republic uh, we have a landlocked country in the central of Europe and borders Germany in the West Austria and south This DLC expands the game well by a further 143 kilometers of road The historical capital of Bohemia is Prague Which is one of the oldest preserved stone bridges in Europe uh, with the Charles Bridge You can expect more detailed replicas such as the State Opera and the National Museum Enjoy other cities of Ostrava, Brno, Pilsen and Sesk Bajois uh, so yeah, we get five new cities. So we obviously got the capital of Prague, Ostrava, Brunei, Pilsen. Uh, we get original license plates, original street signs, new regional props and sites, and there's a lot more to explore. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going from Ast uh, from Prague itself, sorry, and we're going to Ostrava, uh, making one stop at uh, Bruno. Uh, so we're going to have a little look around the bus itself. Now I haven't played Fern Bus in a long, long time. So it will give us a few minutes to get used to all the keys and stuff again, but you know, all the buses all open up and stuff, they're all pretty cool. I love the Kentucky tours, I think they do some great coach liveries. Uh, my favourite is probably the pink and black one that they did, um, I, I was, that's not very current anymore I don't think. But yeah, this this looks pretty cool. And uh, I used to drive these buses all the time, so I actually quite like these buses, they're not too bad to drive. So let's get on board, let's have a quick little look. Uh, so we can go pick up our passengers. Just have a nice little look around. It's um, yeah, it's very posh. This one, isn't it? It's got a full-on sink and everything. Wow. And then we got the upstairs, of course. Now this is not the new DLC bus. The new DLC bus is out, but I just fancy driving this. So yeah, let's get into the seat then. We can have a look around the dash. Like I said, it's been a little while since I played, so we've got to go over all the buttons again, pretty much. But I think, yep, yeah, okay. Okay, so we turn the music down. Uh, we can turn on things like all the air cons and stuff from uh, different keys. So I believe air con would be G. There we go, you can see it's on now. Just going to raise it. Generally, uh, in National Express, when I worked for them, 21 degrees. Between 21 and 23 was comfortable, so we'll leave that on. It's all automatic there. It should be all pretty nice. Uh, we can put some passenger lighting on for them. No problem. Uh, we can put the restroom clearance on, put the kitchen on, and the Wi-Fi for them. Why ever not? Why ever not? Uh, we will put the bus into drive one. I think it'll be absolutely fine. Let's have a look on this side. Uh, we will throw our daytime running lights always on. Taco doesn't work. Uh, the cruise controls. Navigation is already on, I believe. So that's all well and good. Yep, yeah, I think it's nice there. Just uh, keep going around. Driver's lights. Okay, none of that is too much of a big deal. Uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much everything that we need for the bus. Or we can have a little look on the outside. We'll need to get a nice screenshot in a minute. Okay, so let's get back on board then. We should be able to shut the door. Okay, so we should uh, be good to go. So let's get out of here. Okay, for some reason, 
he is wading, but I will need to use the next lane as well, probably. There we go, they're all letting me out. So yeah, like I said, it has been a little while since we've done Fern Bus or even Tourist Bus Simulator. Last time I played Tourist Bus Simulator, uh, my channel was very small, maybe like two or three hundred subs. Um, let me know, is this something that you'd like me to go back to? I know that it's getting released on uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox very, very soon. Uh, so I know that a lot of people will be uh, getting quite excited for Tourist Bus Simulator. So let me know in the comments, is it something that you'd want me to make a series of? And uh, we'll, we'll take it from there, really, see what we can do. Now, I've been to Prague a few times, it's a beautiful city. Uh, you know, for me, what I would call it is more of the place of love than uh, Paris. You know, I, I, I don't really rate Paris myself too much, uh, but here is absolutely stunning. Some of the architecture and, and stuff like that, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, highly recommend anyone who ever gets a chance or wondering where to go, this is a great place to go. Great nightlife scene as well, plenty to do during the days, and yeah, it's great, absolutely great. Okay, might need to turn down the volumes just a little bit once we get to the stop. We're stopping over there. Okay, so now we're in, doors open, let's get out of the bus, we need to check people in. Here are our passengers, uh, so you know, let's uh, let's open up some doors for them, for their luggage. Now this is one of the problems with this bus in real life as well. The luggage compartments are tiny, um, but you may do what you can do I suppose, and obviously they could have the other side if needed. There we go. Uh, let's check in our passengers, so we need to use this mobile phone, don't we? Okay, so we're going to check them in. It's like I said, it's been a little while. Uh, so you're going to BRNO. Uh, you are taking our bus by the looks of things. Uh, what is your name? I've forgotten how we get the information. Okay, Lana Beer. Uh, you are here. Perfect. You can come with us. Okay, who are you going to Strava? Connor. Connor, Connor, Connor. Yes. You can come with us. Here's my ticket. Uh, you're going to Strava as well. Uh, Louise Miller. Yep, perfect. Thank you. On you come, on you come. Who else have we got? Here's my ticket. Okay. Um, what are we going here then? Prague to Strava. We've got a bus number. Where's your name? Oh, Lucy. Uh, Lucy Hoysha. Okay, I think we can scan this, right? Thank you. There we go. Ah, oh, so that does it faster. That must be a new thing. Check in passenger with left mouse or A. Hey, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, uh, Matt Yeager. Yep, you can come with us, mate. Great see, my ticket. Uh, Imahan. Winkler. Winkler, you're coming with us. Hello, here my ticket. Here's your ticket, Dana. Dana, 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 Tim. Here you go. Uh, you Tim. are coming with us. Hello. I feel like all these passengers are coming with us because we're missing so many. Uh, Annabelle, Annabelle, yes, you're coming. They want to go to Ostrava. Okay, so let's find our O's. I have plenty of seats. Okay, salute, uh, Azaz, uh, Ayaz, Ayaz. Where are you going? 
Ah, uh, there he is. Ciao. Ciao. Hallo. Sie wollen bestimmt mein Ticket sehen. I do want to see your ticket. Uh, Patricia. Do, do, do. Yep, you are here. I think that's everybody, right? I don't think I'm missing anyone. I don't think. No, I think we're all good. Okay, let's just uh, close the back door here. And let's get into the bus itself. Uh, I do need to turn down some volumes very quickly. Okay, so hopefully that will be a little bit better. We can close our doors. Our gears will need to be in a neutral position uh, before we forget. Okay, we'll have to go into reverse. Everything looks clear, doesn't it? Let's see if we can just get a, a nice kind of screenshot out here. We've got this nice, beautiful weather. Outside Prague. And we're just going to get rid of... Not that yet. Feel the view. Not sure that's really changing too much. Just get a couple of them very quickly. And uh, we can now head off. So our first stop will be uh, Borno. It's been such a while since the last DLC, you kind of forget about fan bus sometimes a little bit. Um, for me, it's it's a great bus game. I, I, I love the, the experience. Just the one thing that, that gets me is the career mode's a bit, uh, you know, it'd be, be nice if it was a bit more like tourist bus. I really wish they would just implement it a bit more like that. Uh, then I'd absolutely play this all the time for sure. Oh, turn too soon. Okay. So we're going to get out here to the right. Okay, what are we going to do? I'm going to start pulling out. Cars should slow down. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to put it into the inside lane when I get a chance. And off we go. So I do apologize for the last week. Uh, you know, my voice was completely gone. I actually haven't been that sick in a long time. Uh, it really, really got to me, guys. So that's why there was no videos for over a week. Now the problem is I'm really far behind, I've got quite a few uh, cool bits and pieces sent to me over the last week. Uh, so we, we'll have to catch up, we'll have to do little bits and pieces throughout the week to try and catch back up. Um, should be live streaming tonight, I should be back tonight doing our OMSI event that we do every Friday night hopefully. 
And we are on a Horizon 16 this evening, checking out a nice French map. Yeah, I forgot fan bus is beautiful. I remember on the last update they made a lot of driving improvements as well, which was really badly needed. Made the driving feel a lot more realistic. I now believe I'm in the wrong lane. No, we're all right. But so far, yeah, Prague is looking real nice, real, real nice.
Okay, so welcome to uh, Rono. Uh, I'm just straddling both lanes because I wasn't sure how tight we'd be going in, but it looks like uh, we actually have a double lane, so we would have been absolutely fine. So yeah, I've straddled lanes for no reason, but as long as you do this safely, it doesn't matter. You're allowed to do this, so you know, as long as, long as it goes up the inside or outside, you've done it correctly. Nobody can complain too much unless they have a green light, of course, but they don't. So, so far, nice little journey. I uh, forgot how much I actually enjoy Fernbus. It's, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. The steering has definitely got a little bit better. Still a bit loose for my liking on the motorway. Uh, and once you come back into the city, it's perfect. But I suppose they're trying to replicate driving at speed, uh, and that's fine. I might be able to tighten up with uh, in the settings. So it looks like our stop should be just around the corner. It looks like it's some sort of uh, coach station park, maybe. Uh, before we head over to our final destination. Okay, we're coming into our bus stop, we're at 21. We'll have to see if these passengers want to get on or off. Let some of our other ones off. And we've now unlocked uh, this part of the map. Okay, so handbrake on. Uh, we can open up our doors. I think it's pretty safe just to get out of our seat. I think as long as both doors open, people get off. I don't know, does this one have to be open as well? I'm sure they'll get off if they needed to get off. There's a lot of passengers here. Okay. Hello. Okay, so Julianne. Yes. My side, my ticket. Uh, Sammy Mac. Sammy Mac, you are coming with us. Hello. It is Anyone else? Uh, Henrik. Yes. Okay, Clara Scott. Yep. Oh, shot. Sorry. Uh, wants to go to Ostrava. I like these express tickets. Uh, Greta. I haven't actually had to decline anybody yet. Looks like Greta's coming with us. 
Ostrava, Nike. Thank you. What else we got? Welcome, madam. Mahlzeit. Bin ich hier richtig? Danke. That everybody? That does look like everybody. Okay, let's uh, shut the back doors then. Let's get on the bus. Hey, I've got an achievement. Junior coach driver. Okay, so let's go on to our final stop of the day then. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen? Kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If you want to rent out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey on the road, simply download our app on your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit Facebook.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas, and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. I remember when I worked for National Express, they used to give us a CD doing all the same thing. Uh, I think I used it for like the first week and then I just did it myself it was a lot faster and easier than listening to that a hundred times a day but yep so we're going on our final leg now so if we have a quick look at the map uh, we're here we started in prague and we're going to head up now uh, to the most northern point we can uh, ostrava okay so that's where we're heading up to uh let me know like i said guys do you want me to continue this do you want to see some more of this or are you happy just to see when updates come out do we want to bring Taurus Bus Simulator back to the channel? Start all over again and uh, make that into a series as well. I know I've got a lot of stuff uh, uh, coming. Um, you know, I know people are waiting for my summer car and stuff. Like I said, I've just been so sick. I haven't even looked at anything. So I am a little bit behind, but we will hopefully catch up this week. Some days might get two videos a day as well as a stream. Uh, we'll see how we kind of go. But yeah, let me know about Taurus Bus because driving this it does make me want to go back and download Taurus Bus again um, haven't played it 
uh, I think the last update was was update 7 I don't know what day it might be on now I think that was the last time I played uh, Taurus Bus Simulator I don't know if they've made any other updates or improvements since to be honest I'm sure they have they must have it's been uh, nearly a year and a half maybe Bugger. I took the wrong, uh, the wrong one, so hopefully I can just cut across. What we'll do, we'll start indicating across, the traffic should... There we go, he's turned in. We'll pretend nothing happened there.
Okay, I don't know why they all just took a break there. Um, so yeah, we are due... Unfortunately, we are due a break, but we're going to get there. I thought we might just when I planned the route. Um, but I don't get why the AI has been so stupid all of a sudden. I knew they'd be breaking for the junction, but Jesus. Uh, so as you can see on attack over 4.1, uh, so obviously we can drive four and a half hours before our break. So obviously when we stop here, before you could do any more, we would need a full 45 minute break because I didn't take a 15 minute break anywhere. Uh, not much you can do. Obviously, driving hours are driving hours. But yeah, we're gonna be absolutely fine. We've got 17 kilometers to go. Absolutely no issues. So we've seen uh, three of the towns and cities from the DLC. I've uh, really been enjoying my driving to that last little bit there. It was all going really well. It's driving smoothly. And I've now just taken the wrong junction. Bugger. So I will now need to go back on myself. Uh, which can cause a problem with our drive time now. But then we get to look around a bit more, so it's not the end of the world. We are going to turn around down here somewhere, apparently. See, this is a turnaround zone for people like me who are talking and driving and not paying any bloody attention. Perfectly placed. Okay, we're at 4.2. 18 kilometers to go. We should still be fine. Even if we have to go over a little bit, it is what it is. Let me know in the comments, are any of you picking up Fern Bus? Uh, many of you still playing Fern Bus? And if you pick up the DLC, what do you guys think? Uh, it's always great to know what you guys think as well. I think they've done a great job. I, I, I always enjoy all the DLCs that they bring out. It feels very uh, Czech, you know, like I said, spent a bit of time there, being around there. It, it, the map does feel the way it should, I think, in my opinion. It's nice to know that it's still working. It would be nice if they bring a UK DLC soon. Uh, obviously, I'm assuming TML are working very hard on the bus. So maybe production might have slowed down a little bit now uh, with this and tourist bus. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think there's been any new DLCs for a little while on both. Computer doesn't know how to use a handbrake.
Okay, we have made it. Uh, we are on the four and a half hour marks now. We definitely would have to take a break. We definitely pushed it a bit far. If I didn't go wrong, we would have been fine. Okay, so we're going to pull into our final stop, let the passengers off. They're complaining that they're early. Well, you know, what can you do? I mean, who complains that they're early? It's not like I'm leaving this. But, ah, who knows? Okay, let's get out. All the people have already jumped out, which is nice. We'll open up the lockers for them. Um. Kentucky Holidays have reached their next destination now where they'll go relax for the evening uh, Which is really really cool. So there we go guys if you are enjoying this content Please do subscribe down below to the channel hit the bell icon for notifications. We upload nearly every single day uh, Come join us on discord like I said we will be on omg2 this evening for our live stream So if any of you are into your buses come join us for that uh, But other than that for myself, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now